Well, hello, YouTubers. How you guys doing? Today, I'm up here at Cars and Trucks Direct of Bernie, Texas. I'd like to give a big thanks for providing the truck featured in today's in-depth review. Links to their website and contact information can be found in the video description. So today, I am here to bring you this 2013 Ford F-350 King Ranch Power Stroke. This is going to be complete and in-depth review of the F-350. Start the engine, show it off, go over many of the performance specs, and show you all the features that this truck has to offer. So we'll go ahead and get started by walking around the exterior. It does have an aftermarket front bumper right here. I believe this might be by Ranch Hand. Nice that it contours around the vehicle. The exterior color is known as Oxford White Metallic Clear Coat. Over Arizona Beige on the bottom. The front bumper has been painted in the Arizona Beige. It's got 18-inch it's got wheels, wrapped in Nitto Terra Grappler all-terrain tires. Color matched accents on the mirrors. Factory running boards that are illuminated to easily find where they are at night. Does have the keypad entry on the door. Color matched door handles. This one does have the Power Stroke diesel. And it is a long bed. See right there. Does have a factory tow package down there. Backup sensors in the rear bumper. You also do have a, a backup camera built right under the Ford emblem. And show you in the bed. This truck doesn't have a bed liner in it, as you can see. That's, that's why it does have some scratches on it, but that's just normal use. This truck also does come with the tailgate step. Just flip out that step like so. Flip up the bar. Like that. Then, to get in, just grab and hoist. Nice to have to gain access to your rear cargo. Instead of just having to reach over the bed. Close up the tailgate. Factory exhaust. And before I go on the interior of this truck, I would like to show you that it does come with remote start. It's very simple how it operates. Just basically hit lock and hit the remote start button twice. And there you go. And to turn it off, just hit the button again. Inside, this does have the King Ranch specific brown saddle leather interior. All your power options are right up here. Your power windows, window locks, power door locks, and your power mirrors are up here. They are automatically folding. Just leave the controller right there in the center and pull them back. It automatically folds in the mirrors. Then just pull back again and it takes them out. I also do power extend as well by this switch right here, but it, the truck does have to be on in order for those to work. I'll go ahead and jump inside here. Overall, this is just a very nice truck. I'll go ahead and start the engine here. When you stick the key in the ignition, the power sliding seat does move back to the last configured memory setting. This truck has 89,000 miles in its odometer. Very decent amount of miles on this truck. So, let's go ahead and start the engine. Very nice. It's got a full leather wrapped steering wheel. Very nice and smooth power assisted steering. It's a lot smoother than most heavy-duty trucks I've been in. It's got a 6-speed six 6R140 six automatic transmission. 
with low gear selection and manual shiftability controlled by the plus and minus on the side of the shifter. Your numbers will show right up there in the dash. And also once you put the vehicle in reverse, it does show your integrated backup camera through the navigation screen right here, guidance lines, and also you do have a tow haul mode that raises the transmission shift points for better performance when towing. Nice. Now let's go ahead and turn on the lights. It does have automatic lights, the fog lights, hazards. Both the front windows are fully automatic. All right, now let's go ahead and check out the exterior. Turn signal markers on the mirrors. All right, now we're going to go back. Shut off all the lights. And now, I'm going to pop the hood and show the engine. At the business end of this SEP 350, we find here it's 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel V8, 32 valve engine, produces 400 horsepower and 800 foot-pounds of torque. Everything under here is all stock. It does have its factory air box. It still has the EGR and DPF. Right here is its intercooler. For those of you not familiar with these six, seven power strokes, don't know where the intercooler is? It's right here. This is a water-to-air intercooler. Moderate blow-by, but it's normal for these power strokes to have just a little bit of blow-by. It's just a steady stream of smoke is fine, and when you set the cap down and it doesn't blow straight off, I mean, you don't have a bad piston ring. That... So don't worry, this engine is, is running smoothly. Now, as for fuel economy, heavy-duty trucks are not required to meet the EPA, but you can get an average of about 15 or 16 miles of a gallon, depending on your towing and driving characteristics. So, let's go ahead and shut the hood. Then we'll go back inside. Now we'll go ahead and see how it sounds. Beautiful sounding engine. Your parking brake's located right down here. Just press to set. Then the indicator light shows right there in the dash. And then pull this lever here to release. All right, so now we'll go ahead and shut the door. Roll up the window and check out some of the interior features. Right here's its, its radio right up here. Right here you're on your home screen. Just shows right here is your entertainment, phone, navigation, and climate. I can show you the entertainment right quick. Right here, you go through your 3 a.m., FM, AM, and Sirius Satellite Radio. You also do have controls for your CD, USB, Bluetooth stereo, SD card, and your AVN. You have six presets right down here. You show for your HD radio, scan options, direct tune, show for your options right here, you can go through your sound settings, set PTY for seek slash scan, RDS text display, auto set presets, tag button, right there, go back to your home screen, you can also show your information right there. Show you all your alerts, travel links, services, calendar, apps. You also view, delete, and delete them all. Date, icon. That's the way you can sort them. With all your settings right here. Show through your clock settings, 
display settings, sound settings, vehicle settings, your settings, and help. And we'll go back to your home screen. Right here, we'll go for your climate control. Right there's your fan speed, two temperatures. This is a dual climate control for the driver and passenger having their own temperatures. AC off up there, all your different zones are right there. You can also, it also is automatic, AC, AC control, max AC, recycler, rear defrost and front defrost. Heated and ventilated seats are also controlled right there. You also go through your my temp, back to your preset temperatures. Press this dual right here to control both sides at the same time. Go over here to your to your map right up here. You can show you right there is the view. You can show you here your destination, menu, zoom in, zoom out. You have three different views of the map. Right here shows you your little information off the side there or you can have a full view of the map go through your menu, go through your nav settings, guidance mute, close out, serious travel link go up to destination do my home, favorites, previous destinations, point of interest, emergency, map, city center, intersection, street address you can edit your route, cancel the route and all of your phone settings up here. You can add a device, connect, disconnect, info, favorites, and delete. And all of your clock settings right up here. Very nice system to have in this truck. Your main radio controls are down here. Volume, tune, and the power, six presets, track seek, media controls, Eject for your six disc CD changer right up there. Climate controls down here. Fan speeds right there. It will show up right down there. Temperature. Control the passenger temperature. All your different zones are controlled right here. Your front defrost, rear defrost, auto AC, AC control, max AC, and recycler. And push there to turn off the AC. Right here are six presets, or excuse me, six auxiliaries. They don't go to anything right now, but say if you want to hook up like aftermarket lights, or uh, work lights, or anything like that, it already has the switch built in, so you don't have to run at some aftermarket switch that that's cut out in the dash just to fit. A 115 volt power outlet. 12 volt power point up there. Another 12 volt power point down there. Little storage compartment down here. Traction control off is up here. Right here's your four wheel drive switch. We can show you that. Right now we're in two high. There it is, it's now in four high. And now we're in four low. The advanced track is off. Back up to four high. And now back into two wheel drive. Also do have a nice little compartment up inside the dash. You have your SD card holder, USBs, and your and your UV plug-ins. You have four cup holders right up here in the center console. Large storage right here. Little tray right up there. You also do have a much larger storage right underneath. 12 volt power point right there. Glove box. Two storage pockets on the side of the door. Visors with your vanity mirrors. You also do have home link for your garage door opener. This is your sunroof. We'll go ahead and slide it back. This is a one touch automatic sunroof. 
can also tilt back and you can close it up like so. Sunglass holder right up here. Right here's the control for your power sliding rear window. Reading lights. Right here's all the controls for for the radio and media controls and 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 phone controls as well. Right here is your cruise control. Right here are all the controls for your heads up display right here in the gauge cluster. Right here you can show your gauge mode, your your oil temp and your trans temp, compass, and right down here is your trip A and trip B shows your, your time, fuel used, average miles per gallon, and distance traveled. Down to your fuel economy, you show your instant miles per gallon and your distance to empty, fuel history, truck apps, you show your off road settings, trailer disconnect, your settings, driver assist, vehicle, my key, language, units, and information shows right there. Very nice thing to have in this truck. Wiper controls are on the turn signal stock. Does have a tilt steering column as well. You also do have power pedal adjust right here. Full power sliding tilting driver's seat, power recline and power lumbar support. I'll go ahead and show you the back. You do have a very good amount of room in the back seat. I'm 6'5 in height and this is how much room I have back here. You have little storage compartments on the back of in the back doors. Storage on the back of the front seat. One 10 volt outlet right here to hook up a laptop charger to for your kids to watch movies on a long road trip. Two little AC vents for the rear. Two cup holders right there. 12 volt power point. Flip down center armrest with two built in cup holders. Reading lights up there. Bottom of the seat does fold up for extra cargo space. You do have storage underneath. Overall, this is just an awesome truck. Now go ahead and shut it down here. Seat will slide back when you take the key out. Well guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this in-depth review of the 2013 Ford F-350 King Ranch Power Stroke. Please like, rate, comment, subscribe, and have a happy Independence Day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.